Take a look at it. It is water. It is finally. <laughs> yes, we are hitting spring. Stupid winter is gone, finally. Ah, oh, yes. So, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of me, Bowdoll, playing Terraform of Craft, Terraform of All, whoever. Yes. And the world has ended. Ended, yeah. And we are going to make that greenhouse. So, let's start making some calculations. Oh, this is going to be so much better because there is no snow. There is no snow in the area that we are building, yes. Oh, yeah. So we need to flatten this out first. And yeah, my idea, the concept of, is that I want this to be at least five blocks wide. So basically, we need to do. Uh, uh, because of this, let's take a look at this. Um, sprinkle lotus. The reason that we needed uh, at least five blocks, we want to use the full length of this. So, uh, so we need to uh, get the, the, the full width. Yes, full width of the of this thing, and uh, that would be then. So that if we we are not going to center it to this door because we, if we just make it here, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is, this is the width is actually good here if we just make it like. Oh yes, uh huh. So it would be. Mm hmm. Uh, now, also what I want to do is, uh, I, I already made made the sprinklers. Um, probably some of you did see the shell video about me unwilling those sprinklers, <laughs> seeing how terribly, ter terrifically that went. <laughs> Yes, it was terrible. <laughs> I just, yeah. Well, I, I will just sh show you the clip there. Alrighty, so uh, let's see how this goes then. <laughs> yes, a sprinkle lore. I need to shrink, then bend, punch, and then bend last. Oh, come on. Shrink, bend, punch. 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 And that is some. Shrink, bend, punch. 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 I got this wrong. Bend is lost. <laughs> uh, stupid. There is also a creeper down there. The order is drink, punch, bend. Aha. So we punch, then we want to three, then we drink, punch, bend. Ah ha! And yes, that is how you mess totally up <laughs> with the uh, annulling stuff. And I have now cleared the area. <laughs> yes, uh, it is 15 blocks this way and seven wide. And this all shall be greenhouse. And I have absolutely no idea on how much of those greenhouse blocks this is going to take. So. Let's calculate. We have 15 times 2 is 30, 60, and uh, then um, uh, we take another uh, at least 5 times, let's say 3 here, so it would be 15, 30 blocks um, from this, on these sides, and the stairs above it, so 30 blocks, which would mean we need uh, 30 plus 60, 90 blocks of this, so pretty much um, 10 times, uh, let's say 12 times 8. 12 times 8, so we need uh, uh, 80 plus uh, 96. 
Well, it would be quite nice. So not for 96, we need... We need a lot of those blocks. <laughs> yes, and I've, I'm actually not sure if I have enough. I should. So let's get to it then. Um, let's start making rods. Yes. Also broke my shovel, so I need to make myself a new shovel too. But um, oh, I did make some glass here too. Let's take it out with us. This is, uh, I mean, the whole thing with the size of this. Uh, my my general idea with it is is that uh, go big, or grow. So yeah, I want to make it cute. I want to make it huge, large, extra large. So uh, let's take some glass here. I did smell some of this already. Not sure how long this will last, <laughs> uh, but let's take it downstairs with us and place it. Um, let's say here for now. Yeah, well, that should be good. So I did make myself some ingots here, but I don't think that this is going to be very much indeed. <laughs> now let's start with nine and hope that it does not smell. I did have some charcoal here too. I did make um, some more charcoal between episodes too, so I should be having plenty of it. Then we switch hands and uh, shift right click and uh, start hitting this stuff up. And we should get two rods per one stainless steel ink. I really should calculate like this. But we know that I need 90, 90 pieces of those stainless steel greenhouse walls, so yeah. <laughs> and then we need to get to the stairs because we need to make the roof too. And that would be four times two, uh, four, three per fifteen so times fifteen. No, three per. Uh, we need at least ninety of these two, and because it is an odd number, we shall need these two, and fifteen of these. So, so we need. Oh, this is going to be a lot of clunking. <laughs> a lot of clunking, actually. So yeah, um, <laughs> uh, setting goals for myself, please make it good. And uh, while those are heating, I also uh, did do some blue steel and red steel for myself. So I've got some of that too, and I need to make more stainless steel. And yes, so much everything. <laughs> and the reason that I, why I asked uh, about greenhouse or automating this is because I would r really like to add one, one thing to this, and that is that I would like to lock these hoppers. And there is a, actually a quite simple reason for it. Uh, now it seems to empty the molds well, unevenly, and that is something that I really don't want. So yeah, that is something that we need to think about at some point, but let's see how this goes. So we are going to make a rod. We cannot make anything else. Draw, draw, and pen. Oh, this is going to be stupid. Draw, draw, and pen. Ah, oh. draw, draw, and no. Let's calculate this now. Let's do it right. So it is now even, <laughs> and now we need. To, well, what? Why don't we shrink once and then mm, pen? Shrink once, shrink once, ten bend, draw, draw, and bend. Yes, it is easy. So we even it up, then we shrink, bend, bend. Yeah, and we are going to use everything of this. Let's see if I can actually replicate the problem here. So we need to get even. We need to get even here. And then shrink, bend. Draw, draw, bend. Ah, ah, yes, that should be quite doable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let let me work this out, and we'll get back to a ten. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> accidentally whooshed. <laughs> I did not know. Yeah, it smelled it. Uh, yeah, but we will. Blah, blah. So stuff happens. <laughs> Shrink, shrink, shrink. No, stupid. No, stupid.
like that. Alrighty, so the first patch is done. And now let's see how many we get of this. I, I'd say that we, we need to free, at least three stacks, right? Three stacks of 32 or something like that. Let's see what this gives us. Um, <laughs> we are not even close and I have had six. Oh boy. <laughs> well, let's place this and see how much we are still missing. Because this should be quite a lot easier to calculate now. And we could also sleep a little. Because it is almost spring. We actually would like some warmer weather and nicer things than snow everywhere. It has been a long winter though. Oh, and it's April 2nd already. That's nice. So let's see about this. We are going to make it so that... Um, well, uh... I did think that we go too high on the walls here. I marked the places for the sprinklers on the ground too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. I might make another door on the other side of this too, so so that we can actually move through it uh, to the chickens and the ducks actually <laughs> yes but let's see so the inside already seems a bit cramped to my to my liking a bit too cramped could I I could actually but I need to consider the height too so yeah let's go with this so we are going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 more, so one stack of these, uh, and we got uh, two stacks from 16 pieces, so we need to go... I need to make at least... Um, let's, say, let's say... um 30. <laughs> yeah, I, I say we need at least 30 more of those um, stainless steels, uh, but, but it was divided to rods and... Um, Yes, <laughs> a lot of iron working needs to be done, <laughs> still, <laughs> let me get to it. Oh, something is not right. We need more chromium and nickel, oh, right. ah, yeah, <laughs> naturally. Uh, chromium two and uh, ten two pieces of nickel, I forgot to double the amount of these. <laughs> if this fails, I will lose all of that and get that ultimate metal that we we definitely can use for everything very useful. <laughs> yes, yeah, so please work. Yes, <laughs> always as um, hmm, nerve wrecking, so to speak. <laughs> I, I actually, when I was made making the red steel, uh, I almost blew it up. The uh, amount of uh, stuff that I got out of it was actually somewhere around uh, 32 or something like that. It was a very odd mix. In the end, <laughs> yes, smelt, and there we have it. Well, we, well, we could we feed it some some more? No, we are quite even now. Let's not, <laughs> uh, no, yes, let's not meddle with it, with it too much because we really want it to work. Yes, and now, 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 now this is the thing that I, uh, when I mentioned that I would really like to see these uh, hoppers locked. Take a look at this. So I'm pouring the stainless steel here now. Yes. This is on 60, 70, yeah. Now these are not, e uh, oh, this time they are even. The last time they weren't. Uh, I, I've been having trouble with this. I don't know why, but uh, sometimes it does not pour evenly. Uh, depending on what alloy you are making, which I don't really understand why. We are hoping that, like this. Now there is 99 on here, on this one, and 
one in here. So what we need to do is we're going to place the 99 thing in here and then give this some push. Yes. And I will show you a trick with this too. <laughs> there is one thing that um, I learned from this and it is actually, well, because of the nature of how these channels work, I can actually place this in here and it extracts it immediately. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that way I won't be breaking the ingot mold. So consider having one of these tables on top of a uh, on top of a, a hover at all, all times, so that you can easily extract it. Just place the ingot mold and extract it, and then everything is fine, super, and cool. And now I will make more of those seal rods. So <laughs> we'll get back to it very soon. Oh yes, it is looking good. <laughs> now, well, next step, next step is that we need to make these stairs. <laughs> and we need uh, about a bazillion of them. So we need to make another batch of stainless steel. Luckily, I've got plenty of steel. Uh, I've got plenty of steel. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> luckily I have got plenty of cast iron because, <laughs> yes, um, you might have to make some steel too, which is very nice. Slowly, very slowly, getting there. <laughs> now we are going to make plenty of these. I know I really hope that this is enough. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure. Because this day, this really takes a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, I could have, like I said, I could have go for a smaller one, but apparently, yes, going big or going seems to be that. Uh, yeah, this is not even remotely enough. <laughs> oh boy, and I told that I was ready here. Well. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why do I keep tormenting myself? <laughs> Idiot! Now the important thing, because this is uh, this is on odd numbers, we need to make the roof, the top bottom, the top part out of these. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is because um, the reason that I want. It will be odd, it's just because of those sprinklers. And uh, we are also going to uh, give some bee, bee stalactic fun, love. Yes, we are going to place some bees around here too. Because they actually affect inside the, um, the area inside the greenhouse too. So, so that's something that we are going to make too. And oh, that was actually just enough. Or oh, apparently you cannot smelt this to get the stainless steel back that you had. That is something that I would like, would like to see happen too, because these are now totally unnecessary unless I use them for something that makes things prettier. <laughs> uh, not very likely. <laughs> it was not enough! <laughs> no! <laughs> I still need to make another batch. <laughs> For crying out loud. <laughs> but uh, yes, I uh, did make. Yes, this doctor, this is actually quite fun. There is one in here. There is also two here, I think. Yes, they are my hangarounds. Uh, they like to hang around uh, here too. <laughs> yes, but I did make this blue steel shower, so. Before I get to make the rest of that, let's see if this is any good or not. I mean, there is no insta mine in Terra from Craft, I, I've noticed. <laughs> but at least this thing is perfectly forged. <laughs> and there is also a bit of a cave in here. Eh. There is no mobs in that. Uh, yes. Uh, also, the reason that I... Can we make it? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, the reason that I wanted blue steel is actually the lava lamps that we are going to use a bit later. Yes, and there will be source of our happiness. I will make plenty of those. And I really should feel in those too. <laughs> should I? Shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. But yes. 
back to making some more stainless steel. So, um, 60 percent of molten steel. If we have one, one, and uh, three. By my calculations, that is five. <laughs> but is it enough? It is not even enough. Do you happen to have a one piece of steel on you? No. Do I really have to? What is this? This is steel. Ah! <laughs> Do I really have to make myself some steel too? Apparently so. But well, 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 well we're gonna be big iron here. We can do it from this. Um, maybe. Well, we need one. <laughs> Let's make one. But yeah, I really need. Uh, apparently, I need to make more steel too. Ah! And I thought that I was ready for this. <laughs> apparently, I was not. <laughs> I believe it or not, but it is actually done now. So now we get to test if it is built correctly or not. Let's close the door behind us. Place T. This thing, thing here. And greenhouse of 266 blocks. That's nice. Now what we need is uh, one Louis with us. And we are going to make something that requires these. Oh, I made four of those. Uh, Totally thought that I had. Um, I remember that I have had less of those. <laughs> I remember that I had three. So maybe we will expand it one day. <laughs> yes, like like that is happening. Louis, I need you to let me che help me cheat a bit. Take that and that and um, that too. Thank you very much. And then we get in inside because if I would. If, if, if I was, try, was to try to carry these by myself, it would not work very well, <laughs> wouldn't it? But uh, we are going to find it right here, and then we are going to place this here. And the sprinkler is not working. Uh, might be that we need to open this. Sprinkler empty, not growing. Yes, let's place all of this here first and then worry about why they are not working on, on us. Yes. And where we can actually... Yes, thank you, Louis. Welcome, welcome to the vicinity of Bone Doll failing miserably. So, all right, let's see what the, the book actually says about the sprinkler. A sprinkler. It's a device that sprinkles water in six by five by six by five area centered on a block below the sprinkler. It, it automatically fills with water from any fluid tank or a pipe ablaze above it. You know it is working when it drips out water particles. That's where the butter of water is. Yes. Yes. I think I've done that part. So I wonder if it act activates. How? Maybe we need to make some of uh, those planters. Let's take a look about that. Oh, actually, before we get to the planters, these are not resistors to the greenhouse yet, aren't they? Now it is working. Ah ha! Remember to right click the climate station. La stazione de climate. Ah ha! All right, so let's think about this. What do we want to grow? We are going to need the planters, yes. And we are good on Ryan that we, do, we don't need to grow any kind of weeds or such in there. What we could do is we really would like to have uh, some fruit there, right? And the uh, only fruit that I have is actually um, olives, yes. So. What kind of planters do we need? We need these little bricks here. I wonder if I have any of those. Large planters can, can grow green beans, tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes we would like to have. Uh, no, tomatoes are evil. They are terrible and we have got garlic, so we don't need tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes, but maybe one. So we are going to make uh, at least three of these. Quad planter. Beets, cabbage, carrots, we have 
Oh yes, we are going to grow garlic. Because garlic is nice. Garlic is good. Everybody likes garlic. Um, and possibly onions. Garlics, at least. Then uh, we want to make bonsai planters. Yes. Can grow any fruit tree type except bananas. We need a hanging planter. Yes, so we are going to need... We we want bonsai planters so that we can get fruit from them uh, around a year. Uh-huh. Hanging planter, squash, squash. Only the squash, right? And bananas, but we don't have either, so... Yes, we are not going to need any hanging planters. We are going to need bonsai planters. I think I'm going to make five of these. And then I'm going to make some of these. And, uh, yeah, large planters too. And I should have compost. Quite a lot of it, actually. So, what we're going to need now is uh, clay balls. Aha. We are going to make them into bricks. Yes. Just hold on a moment. Hello, Mr. Olive Tree. Um, I'm very sorry about this, but I need to borrow your elbow. Yes. It is needed elsewhere. We want the bonsai planter. We will. We will. We've got three saplings now. We can make more of those. So let's take three of those and see if we place it. I really should have some blocks here too because this is looking very ugly and I don't like it. Alright, so this is interesting. The climate station says everything is alright. Ah, now it is. Yeah, it just takes some time before I. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is already trained one, one liter or. Yes. 1000 millibuckets of water, yeah, because, yeah, haha, <laughs> but, um, it should not, uh, be working now. Yeah, it's growing. And we're gonna place another one here. Oh, yeah, so, um, I did p take a bit of a shortcut here and did some busybody work here around this area, too, so that I could see the actual results and uh, this thing on effects. It has been 10 uh, in game days now. And I added some beehives here. These should be affecting the crops. There is crop affinity in this. And uh, I'm trying to get better bees too. Yes, crop affinity and all. And I place, well, <laughs> a heap of planters here, as you can see. And I've got uh, tomato seeds. Uh, I've got uh, quad planters for onions and uh, some potatoes too. I don't know why, but I have those too. And yeah. They are looking quite nice. For example, the olive sapling thing is already on 1.80.2. Right, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, all. So yeah, it seems to be quite cute. It, it's working and I've been filling these barrels to here. Well, I took this um, aqueduct here so that I can easily fill them. I was thinking of maybe taking the aqueduct even somewhere around here so that I could just fill the barrels and Place them up there where they are filled. Yes. Uh, one thing. There is this seed ball. Yes. When you throw one of these, you should get herbs and that kind of stuff that you can actually uh, also plant on these uh, quad planters. And I left this area here for those. But um, uh, I threw six of them and I got zero herbs. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I need to do something with the herb situation here, and I was kind of hoping that the nat na nature restoration bees that I have will give me some herbs too. Also, what I did not notice that there is actually there's trellis planters that you can use for berries and such. So I can grow berries in these trellises, and that way I should have enough berry for. Uh, food and stuff and stuff you know <laughs> yeah and uh, about the nature preserve re restoration bees uh, I've made myself a uh, test beehive here so it has uh, 25 flowers here I went and collected them from outside of the area so that uh, the snow would sm smell a bit too uh, there is quite a lot of snow here <laughs> yes but uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, these ones here 
will give me more flowers on this row and that way I could get some more herbs that I can plant on the planters on the thing there. Yes, <laughs> have I made myself unclear? It is done. I now have a greenhouse and I really hope that it will serve my purpose uh, food-wise as much as it can. But yes, I think it is time to... Oh, and about the horse, it escaped the boat, yeah. Yeah, the boat was submerged here. It's still submerged, but the, the horse, it managed to escape. <laughs> so yes, um, it's there now. But yes! To that bombshell, I think it is time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. It has been a pleasure, pleasure like always. And hope that you have learned something about the tree houses. No, the greenhouse. Yes, because I really have. <laughs> so thank you for watching. This has been me, Bondol. See you in the next episode. A good. Bye.